Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Cross, here with Dixie Andelin Forsyth for A Feminine Moment, and we are going to be talking about the ideal woman from a man's point of view. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason we're going to be talking about that is a lot of um, people tend to have a question about what the angelic and human sides, what does that mean? And uh, Dixie's gonna explain that. You know, it's interesting, um, well, when I was, when this book was first written and I was a kid, yeah. I remember reading uh, reading those different sides and I thought the angelic part was kind of boring and the human side was, much more fun. Much more fun. Yes. The angelic side basically is, the reason it's called angelic is basically character. It's character. And, and that's probably why I thought it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, self-control. Well, because, yeah. well, yeah, I get that at church and everything. I, my parents are always, okay, it's just not right and, and all these things. So, but you know what's interesting? As I've gotten older, character, the more you develop your character to a good man, it's incredibly attractive. Yeah, that's the attractive it, part. It, it can it, because it's uh, it can help them feel like they might be safe with you, if you if you uh, honor uh, your commitments, if you keep your promises, if you don't reveal stuff that they've trusted you with. The more character you have, and the way you treat when they're first dating you, and the way you, they see that you treat other people, will help them to feel safer with you. Because men guard their masculine pride very closely because they can get so wounded so easily. So they guard it. So we make the mistake of thinking that they're tougher than they actually are as far as their pride goes because they're better at hiding things and guarding it. And whereas we, uh, because we tend to be a little more humble, uh, we can um, kind of cry maybe even beat ourselves up a little and go on whereas, yeah whereas uh, like oh i did that oh i can't believe i did that and whereas men it's 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 very wounding some of these things are very wounding now the human side which i thought was the more fun part and i still kind of do yeah. is femininity and things that are charming and attractive and it, you know it's also self-care and um things like a charm your feminine walk and feminine mannerisms, it's um, childlikeness is over there. Mm -hmm. but, but on the angelic side is understanding men. That all oh, that's so really, really has underneath the foundation of that is character. Okay. And, and developing character is a lifelong ambition. We all know that. So don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake because you're going to. You're going to make tons of them. I do constantly. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, no, then. So, um, and then you, you, you decide I'm not doing that again mm -hmm. and you might, but you probably will do it less. So, uh, understanding and learning about and practicing all of these qualities, uh, and, and unique to women. Now men develop character too, but the way we do it, like the understanding men, mm -hmm. and sympathetic understanding, we have a way of practicing these things that is unique to us, that gives us, that, um, that is a part of feminine power that really makes us irresistible to good men. Now, if you're talking about a sociopath, forget it. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They're not character driven. So they'll more likely think, oh, here's somebody I can use. Mm -hmm. So you got to watch out for those types. And, mm -hmm. But you also have to be careful in diagnosing somebody that you don't know is somebody with that character trait because uh you know um yeah you don't know enough you don't well, want yeah you may not know enough so so like in the new book in timeless i have in there uh, a section of a chapter called the rat filter and it gives you ideas of when you see this behavior in him there's a, there's a very short list that are deal breakers that i've listed like if, if he's deal like that, well okay there's things on there like uh um criminal or a pimp or you know mm -hmm. really serious stuff if he's a drug or serial drug it no not not necessarily drugs it depends if he's a drug dealer that's different than if he uses drugs he may be kind of trapped so if uh, on the rat on the rat filter side if you know there's those are red flags 
not necessarily a deal breaker because otherwise we could seem like we're just really critical of men. That's true. And people and people are different stages of growing. So if you see one on the longer list of the rat filter, check it out. And some of those things are like the way he treats other people that he doesn't depend on, like like waiters, waitresses, people that are kind of yeah. with him socially, how he treats animals, how does he treat his parents, those kinds of things. It, it, he may treat his parents poorly, but then you, you may investigate further and find out they have a real complicated relationship and they are really mean to him. So you just don't just judge really quickly these things, but um, you can, but investigate further. Don't marry him until you've found out if it's serious or not. So that's the, that's the angelic and the human. And, Thank uh, you. They're both, they're both really important and foundational but I still say the human is more fun. <laughs> it is. Thank you. That's an awesome explanation. I hope that helps everybody watching. Uh, please submit your questions. You can always uh, email Dixie at DAF at fascinatingwomanhood.com or me at JMC at Fascinating Woman. Or on, leave questions on the uh, fascinatingwomanhood.com website. There's a yeah. contact us thing. The so. website. Um, oh, it says, it says Ask Dixie, I think is what it says. Oh, great. Excellent. Yeah. On uh, fascinatingwomanhood.com to uh, message questions right over to Dixie and we'll do a video on it. Yeah. Or if you want just a private thing, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, we're private. Yes. Private. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.